Hi, my name is Dr. Alexander Adler, and I'm an interventional pain physician in Lowell, Massachusetts. I'm here today with my colleague, Dr. Antia Barrowfeld, to talk to you about nerve blocks. Nerve blocks are a technique used to both diagnose and treat chronic pelvic pain. We'll talk more in depth about this exciting option. We'll also review the risks of these injections and answer some common questions you may have. We hope this information will help you to better understand your treatment options. When you see a provider for pain management, he or she may offer you a diagnostic injection. A diagnostic injection is an injection of local anesthetic or numbing medication to localize your pain to a single structure. Diagnostic injections can be delivered into muscles, such as those in the back and the pelvic floor, joints, tendons, and also around nerves. In this video, we are going to focus on nerve injections or blocks. A diagnostic nerve block aims to localize your pain to the territory of the nerve involved by temporarily numbing the targeted nerve. Like the name implies, diagnostic injections can help your provider diagnose whether irritation of a specific nerve is causing your pain. The result of such an injection is considered to be positive if it temporarily relieves the pain, and this will help your provider further plan your pain relief strategy. Your provider may ask you to complete a pain diary or perform movements that provoke your pain to assess your response. The effects of diagnostic injections generally last for the duration of the local anesthetic used, which is a few hours. However, sometimes the effect may last longer, weeks or even months. This surprising effect is attributed to the relief of muscle spasm or interrupting the pain cycle. A therapeutic injection is intended to provide longer lasting relief than a diagnostic injection. A positive diagnostic injection does not ensure the success of a therapeutic injection, but suggests that the targeted nerve is the primary generator of the pain. Therapeutic injections frequently include both a local anesthetic and a steroid. Steroids are a class of medication that reduce inflammation. Inflammation plays a significant role in the generation of pain, so if inflammation can be reduced, pain can also be diminished. Different therapeutic injections last for different amounts of time. In some cases, they may last for months or even years. It will be difficult for your provider to know in advance how long your injection will last. These injections can be repeated, but may be limited in frequency since repeated doses of steroids can cause side effects. Sometimes your provider may also offer an injection to reduce muscle spasm, like onabotulinum toxin A or Botox, and, or an injection that may help promote local healing. Now, let's talk more in depth about injections for pelvic pain. The nerves that give sensation or feeling to your pelvis come from the lower parts of your spine and are called peripheral nerves. And when they get irritated, they can cause pain. Injections targeting these nerves are called peripheral nerve blocks and are used to provide a diagnosis and pain relief. Unlike a surgical intervention, these injections do not alter the anatomy that may be contributing to chronic pain. They are not expected to permanently resolve your pain However, by recognizing that a peripheral nerve is contributing to pain, your provider will be able to suggest surgical options and refine strategies to treat your pain. The sensory supply or innervation of the pelvis is incredibly complex, but there are several peripheral nerves that are often identified as contributors to pelvic pain in both men and women. These nerves serve as targets for injections and are highlighted in yellow here. They include the pudendal, genitofemoral, obturator, ilioinguinal, and iliohypogastric nerves. You may want to pause the video to take a closer look at some of the nerves before we continue. There are five main peripheral nerves that provide sensation or feeling to the pelvis. As you can see here, each nerve is responsible for the sensation of a different area. You may also notice that there is significant overlap in the area of sensation supplied by each nerve and that's one reason why your provider may need to try different injections before finding one that targets your pain. The pain associated with each peripheral nerve has some characteristic features. For example, the pudendal nerve gives sensation to the rectum, vagina, and the space in between, which is known as the perineum. It can cause knife-like pain in these areas. This can make sitting painful. The pain may be relieved by lying down. The ilioinguinal and genitofemoral nerves can cause pain in the groin, which may radiate or spread into the vagina, p 
penis, or scrotum. The obturator nerve can cause pain in the genital area that travels to the inner thigh. In order to perform a peripheral nerve injection, your provider may use an imaging technique like ultrasound or x-ray, which is also called fluoroscopy. Ultrasound allows your provider to see muscles and sometimes even the nerves. This is demonstrated on the left side of the screen. On the other hand, with x-ray, as you can see on the right side of the screen, your provider will mostly be focusing on bones. In some cases, your provider may palpate or feel the painful area and use this information along with imaging methods to guide your injection. Hi, my name is Dr. Anshia Baraveld, and I'm an interventional pain physician at Newton Wellesley Hospital in Newton, Massachusetts. Let's talk about risks with injections and answer some questions you may have. Injecting nearby nerves or into muscles is generally well tolerated without complications. Risks and side effects may arise due to the needle itself. This includes bleeding, infection, nerve irritation. However, nerve damage or nerve injury is very rare. Or risks or side effects may occur due to the substance that's being injected. For example, an allergic reaction or a flare-up of your pain. Your provider may use imaging or may examine structures in the affected area during an injection to minimize any risks. The specific substances that are injected also carry risks and side effects. For example, after a steroid injection, some people may feel agitated or experience flushing or hot flashes for up to a few days, or patients with diabetes may experience high blood sugars as a result of the steroid injected. Some common questions that we receive are, why should I have an injection? Injections are not curative. However, they are very helpful to diagnose your pain condition and customize the next steps in your treatment plan. Even though relief may be very short-lived, a break from the pain, even a brief one, is good for the brain. What about the injection I had did not work? I only had relief for a few hours. Now what? If you only had a few hours relief, your provider may have used a local anesthetic. And don't worry, for many people, this is a successful result. And this is a diagnostic injection. Although this type of injection can be used to diagnose your problem, it may not give you long-term pain relief. Sometimes diagnostic injections with local anesthetic only can, however, give you longer relief. It can be a little bit like a nerve reset or a deep trigger point injection into a muscle. But be sure to tell your provider that you only had a few hours of relief because this might be another clue. Think of it like a blood test that gives a result but does not necessarily treat your disease. Sometimes adding another substance to the injection can prolong the relief and you can discuss with your provider if, for instance, a steroid could also be considered. So how long will therapeutic injections provide me pain relief? We hope that therapeutic injections provide many months relief. However, every person is different. For some people, just interrupting the cycle of pain with an injection can give even permanent relief. For others, it can only be hours, days, weeks, or a few months. So we sometimes don't know until we try. The good news is, is that some injections can be repeated. So if they are helpful, then perhaps you can discuss with your provider if another injection or a different type of injection might be pursued. Will I have a flare up after an injection? Everyone is different. Injections, especially those done with steroid, can cause a temporary flare up of your pain. This flare is typically short lived and resolves within 48 hours after the injection. In some cases, this happens because the steroid is irritating, whereas in other situations, an already sensitive muscle or nerve be may become further irritated by any stimulation from a needle. You can treat these flare ups with ice, heat, over the counter medications, and rest. So what about if the injections aren't working? Why is that? Injections are only one piece of solving the puzzle of pain, and unfortunately they don't work for everyone. However, even a negative response to injection, meaning that you didn't get any diagnostic relief, 
provides clues and information that can help direct your provider to tailor therapies for the future. Injection therapies are one part of your whole multimodal treatment plan, and we hope that they can be helpful in cases where they might be indicated. Thanks again for joining us today, and we hope you now understand a little more about injections to address acute and chronic pain. Be sure to check out facingpelvicpain.org for lots of great educational resources and talk to your provider about the options that can be tailored to you.